I'm hugging Richard Simmons. How are you doing? Good. Well, thanks for having me on. Thanks for coming. It's nice to see you. Aren't you cold? Um, you know, I just came back from Alaska, and it was very similar to this, uh -huh. and I'm starting to like it. <laughs> I'm, really? I'm thinking of myself as a snow afro bunny. Uh -huh. <laughs> so the hair is cooperating? No, but it's beautiful here. 104.9 Easy Rock Edmonton Network Radio. Yeah! Helen Camp and Small Town. He's in the building. We have a very special visitor. Yahoo on Easy Rock 104.9! <laughs> it's 8.38 minus 21, bigger than life. Do we need to check the traffic and weather? And now the life? traffic. Please drive safely. Uh, and now the weather. It's cold. <laughs> Wear a coat. <laughs> Nicely done, Richard Simmons. Hey, hey, hey I'm in it, Mr. Great to to have you here. And uh, for the Health and Wellness Show, I, I have to tell you, you're going to have to look at our video website because Richard came in wearing shorts, wearing shorts, and also with kisses and hugs. And uh, you know, kisses oh, yeah. and hugs are fat free. And I plan to give thousands of them tonight. I am so excited to be teaching here. I haven't been in Edmonton to teach for a very long time. Mm -hmm. I travel about 200 days a year, just trying to say, hey. It's stress out there, you're eating comfort food, mm -hmm. you're not taking care of yourself, you only have one life, why not make it the healthiest life that you can? But when it's this cold, all we want to do is eat, Richard. Well, that really isn't Ooh, true. Look at those legs. <laughs> I mean, How did you get legs like that? You can eat, but you have to watch your portions. You know, I've been doing this 35 years, and here's my formula. Love yourself, no matter what you weigh, move your buns every day, and watch your portions. It sounds simple, mm -hmm. but we're emotional eaters, yes. you know, and there lies the problem. But there's never been more overweight people in the world now mm -hmm. than ever before. We could blame it on fast food, but I don't blame it on fast food. What do you we, blame it on? I blame it on just sheer laziness in certain areas of your life. Mm -hmm. You may be a hard worker, you could be the great, but you're lazy in the workout department. And, you know, That's I had so tried. Much work. I know, but I had tried everything, you know. I was 200 pounds in the eighth grade and ate my way up to almost 300 pounds in high school. Mm. And I tried laxatives. That's the first thing I tried. 30, uh -oh. 30, 30 laxatives a day. What? Oh, that's dangerous. Then I was throwing up four to five times a day. And then I starved and lost 123 pounds and ended up half dead in the hospital. So I had tried all the wrong ways. Right. What I didn't try was to respect me, to respect my body, not to go on every crazy diet in the world, and just to move every day. And that's been my formula for 35 years. And now everybody wants surgery, everybody wants diet pills. But the truth of the matter is that's not going to get you healthy. And being thin is not exactly being healthy. Hmm. Well, that was a long paragraph right there now, <laughs> won't it? Very well said. Very well said. And, and yeah. it, it sounds easy, but you know, it's tough. I get up at 4.30 in the morning to get my, I say my prayers, I count my blessings, I do my workout, mm -hmm. and then I start, you know, I call about 50 overweight people a day from all over the country and here in Canada, and just listen to their stories and try to motivate them. Because, you know, a lot of women can't talk to their husbands about weight, mm -hmm. and a lot of men cannot talk to their wives. It's sort of a personal issue, mm -hmm. and because I've been around so long, they respect me because I've never done anything stupid or told them to do anything silly. Well, and you've been there. And, okay. Yeah, and I, you know, and I'm still there. Yeah, I'm still there. I'm well, a compulsive like eater, oh. and I have to watch what I eat. But my workouts are my saving grace. They mm -hmm. really are. Now, for people who are going to come to the health and wellness Look how nice show. you shaved today this morning. Just for you, Richard. You know, nice. He never looks as good for us. We I did mean, actually get cheek to cheek, <laughs> too. Uh, we did. I felt that there was no, no stubble. stubble there. Yeah. If you want to know if he loves you so, it's in his kiss. That's where it is. And Richard and has not only hugged and kissed me, but sang to me, too. Uh, you, you look like fantastic. You. For you 60, huh? Not yeah. bad. How old are you? 60, are you 60 years old. 60. 60. Yeah. My goodness. Uh, now, do you, do you talk Amazing. to doctors, and do they kind of check you over and go, you know, Richard, you, you have the body, metabolism, heart. Oh, I have, because of my insurance, I have to take four physicals a year. Really? Four stress tests, four on the treadmill, four a year. And, and you know, I couldn't go out and teach and, and talk to people about this unless I walk the walk. You know, there's so many people who gain and lose and gain and mm -hmm. lose. I haven't been one of them because I've been consistent to myself because I have to go out and travel. People have to see me and I have to fit in these 1981 <laughs> Dolphin shorts. And I'm afraid one day they'll just unravel and I'll just be in my little tank top. 
I don't, I, I don't see you panicking if that happened. <laughs> no, uh, no, no, a cucumber. no. Hey, Richard, I want to touch on something real quick because this really affects me. I work out fairly regularly, eat healthy food, but I, I can't stop eating a lot of it. I love food. Portion control. You're a volume eater. You're what volume is the deal eater. with that? Well, you know, your stomach, if you take both of your hands and put them together like this right. on the okay. side, that's the size of your stomach. Right. Okay. As you gain weight, the size of the stomach gets bigger, which means that you need more food to fill it. Yeah. And so if you're really watching your portions, your stomach does shrink a little bit. What, what, what are the foods that you can't stop eating? Like basic stuff, meat, Every potatoes, day. pasta. Yeah. Dear Heavenly so Father, we come to your throne today to <laughs> want this man. You know, I, I love it too. I have to tell you something. I love food. I love it hot. I love it cold. Yeah. I, I love when, it when, when it falls on the floor, <laughs> I eat it. When I see a woman with a little baby and they're eating something, I steal it. So, I, you know, I just love food. But it gets to the point of self-respect. And it gets to the point of... When can I stop? It's like I'm staying in a nice hotel. I had four ounces of protein last night, and I had a salad last night. Did I want the baked potato? Did I want certain things? I, I didn't have, you know, I didn't have enough that that I, I could eat because I had breakfast and lunch. So you really have to look at things. And you know what? When you're following a healthy food program, mm -hmm. you feel so much better. You know, have yeah, you had? How do you resist a brownie or a chocolate chip cookie? Because I just take it and rub it on my thigh. Oh, is that the, yeah, uh, <laughs> last night with this restaurant, they brought these little cheesecakes with chocolate on them. Oh, yeah. You know, and I just rubbed them on both my thighs, and I felt good. <laughs> you know, I, but I took a bath. You know, I didn't leave it there all night to like get a rash or a chocolate or cheesecake rash. Right. But you know, I, I know that my problem is I can't stop once I have that oh, one yeah. little bit you know, my, the floodgates of my appetite open. Mm -hmm. So it really is, you have to think about how small your stomach is and really the amount of food that you need. Do you know how many calories you eat a day? I don't. I, I have a pretty good idea how many I burn a day. Oh, you know? yeah. How many, how many do uh, you burn a day, buddy? <laughs> how many you work out a couple hours a day? <laughs> no, no. You no, don't no. do cardio. Yes, I do. No, you don't do aerobics like I do. I do pretty you need to be Let in Let me ask you a question. Training. How many leg lifts did you do this morning? No leg lifts. Okay. You see, we carry most of our weight from the waist down. When you do a simple leg lift, mm -hmm. you're burning more calories than practically any other exercise you can do. Because really? you're lifting your quads, your hamstrings, your thighs, your calves, all of that. Um, tonight, when I do my class, mm -hmm. I'm not only going to teach a class to everyone, I'm going to teach them how to exercise. And a lot of people don't know how to exercise. How long should the warm-up be? How many minutes should you be doing the cardio? What about your strength training and your cool down? So I'm actually going to instruct the many, many people who are going to be in class tonight and teach them how to do a healthy workout. Because when you do a healthy workout, you burn calories two hours after you're working out. Right. So, you know, just doing, you know, when you're doing a treadmill or, or elliptical, you're not lifting anything. Your arm, you know, the farther your arms and your legs are away from your body is how this muscle called your heart works. And so many, especially women, have more heart attacks and strokes than men. Oh, yeah. And it's because they're just not getting enough cardio mm -hmm. and taking care of that very special muscle called your heart. Okay. Yeah. Listen, Richard. Uh, if you point that pen at me, one more time. It up. He's like, yeah. he's at CNN News. Hi, we're CNN News Desk today. <laughs> Directing over here. You said that you call people up. Yes. The pe overweight people and give them words of advice. But I also talk to thin can people. You, can I you call somebody up for us, us today? Right now? Like, we'll take a break and then come back. And will you call somebody and give them some words of advice? Absolutely. Right. We're doing